Steve's getting ready to go for a walk. One, One two, three. After a rare condition left him paralysed five years ago, he's been receiving specialist physiotherapy at this private hospital in Buckinghamshire. And thanks to this piece of technology, he's already taken a number of steps. If you look at it from an outsider's point of view, you think the machine's doing everything for you. But for me, it doesn't feel like that at all. I feel like I've just run a marathon. How I'm getting that feedback up to there, I don't know. But that's how my legs feel. For me, that's all good. It's all good news. A number of NHS hospitals are trialling the different types of exoskeletons available, but they're not cheap. They can cost up to £120,000, and there is some caution as to their benefits. They're very far from mainstream at the moment. They're not at all user-friendly. If you have a disabling condition, it's actually really, really hard work to walk, and often people find that that's more trouble than it's worth, and so they use a wheelchair because in the chair they can keep up with other people, they can manage crowds, they can go further, they can be faster. For many disabled people, the ability to walk is not the most important thing. But for disabilities like mine, exercise is crucial. And for that reason, I decided to give it a go in front of a few friends and family. I've got muscular dystrophy, which means my muscles are a lot weaker than everybody else's. I haven't walked independently since 2005, but today I have got the chance to walk in an exoskeleton for the very first time. And a big lean forward. Big stretch up, big breath in. Should we try a few steps? Should we try a few steps? So this is basically, you're going to hold it forwards and just keep holding it forwards and then you'll feel that your left leg will swing through. Lovely. All right. Right. That's it. Keep holding it forwards. Good. You'll see that left leg now will swing through. That's great. That's it. Oh, hello. (laughs) (laughs) That was amazing. It didn't feel anything like how I used to walk either. It felt like how, you know, you guys walk. <laughs> there is an actual dance dance move. Oh, give well, it's not real. <laughs> it was amazing to see her stand up. And it's like watching my, one of my children take their first steps and they're seeing her. And I've, you know, we've been through so much together. <laughs> it's really important for me to be here and, and be with her, definitely. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. <laughs> Can we do that again one more time? <laughs> yeah, she loved it. Yeah. And it puts her in a perfect standing position, which she hasn't really been in for many, many years. Mm. We'll have to buy one. <laughs> well, people I've actually been using with, I've noticed a, a big improvement in their spasms. Um, a lot of people say report better sleep and pain reduction as well. Exoskeletons aren't for everyone. But as the technology develops, the hope is that those who need it will have greater access to this specialist rehabilitation. Nikki Fox, BBC News.